Colin Sexton from Pebblebrook High School. You're watching my future on Replay.tv. Hey everyone, I'm Autumn Johnson with Replay TV, and I'm here at Pebblebrook High School with five star senior guard Colin Sexton. Colin, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. It's very appreciated because we know you've been on the go recently. Um, you just came back from Chicago playing in the All-American McDonald's game. How was that experience for you? Uh, actually, it was a great experience. Just the simple fact that not everybody gets invited to that. Right. And then also everything that led up to it, like our, every um, hard work, all the hard work, um, dedication, waking up early in the morning just led up to me being there. So I felt like it paid off in the end. Right, and you put on a show while you were there with the crazy assists that you were doing. You were crowned the slam dunk champ. You did a 360 dunk that had everyone like, this guy is still in high school. Let's see the footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Game over, fellas! Game over! Wow. And look at the, look at the stoic look on his face. 70 thrown down by Sexton for 129 in the lead. Perfect. That's a perfect score, B Dub. A little tuck. He's got the tuck on the wrist. Who was it? Does that go back? Is that Connie Hawkins? Yeah. Is that, is that Connie yeah. Hawkins with that? Cuffed it. I don't think Connie was doing it like that. Oh, oh, oh. he's got the wrist on the rim. At six foot three, Colin Sexton exploding hey, off the floor. And he looks angry at life. Yeah, that was an he angry, looks angry at life. Does that ever just like sink in your mind that your game is at this level at the age of 18? Well, actually, sometimes just because people be like talking about me all the time, right. and, but I got to still stay humble. So, and you had players, NBA players like Rajon Rondo and Dwayne Wade there. Usually, we watch their games, but they were in attendance and they were watching you. How was that like? Uh, it was it was crazy just to talk to them after the game. How much energy they have about watching us, and right. how much energy we usually have watching them. So it was crazy. And you've been playing basketball since you were three years old. As you grew older with this game, um, did you ever imagine yourself being in the position that you're in today? Um, actually, I always dreamed about it, okay. um, but now it's a reality and it's pretty crazy. So I feel like um, everything just paid off. Everything's right. paying off and coming back full circle. Now, along the journey, you picked up the name Young Bull. What, where did that nickname come about? Uh, actually, just like being a bully on the court or whatever. So everybody was like, Young Bull, so that's, that's the new nickname. In this very gym, you had a phenomenal season, but before you took on the court every game, you had a pack of Skittles, you made sure you ate some before you took on the court, and then you had outstanding stats. What's the magic in these Skittles? Um, <laughs> no magic, just like a normal like pregame routine. Like I put my right sock on, left sock on, okay. right shoe, just like little stuff like that. So. When when did you pick up this tradition? Uh, actually, like three years ago, mm -hmm. like the Skittles thing, like three years ago, and then um, the other tradition. Just I always been doing it. Now, while you're playing, you did mention in an article that I read um, recently that your favorite player of all time is Kobe Bryant. But you compare your game to James Harden. Do you ever see both of those players intertwining in your style of play sometimes? Uh, absolutely, because like some some plays you'd be like, oh, that's a Kobe, or some plays you'd be like, oh, that's James Harden right there. Okay. So that's how they come together. Now, speaking of NBA players, Chris Paul, he is your AU coach for CP3 mm -hmm. and also really just a mentor. What's some advice that he's giving you to use on and off the court that's you're gonna use and carry on with you throughout your entire career. Um, he always he always tell me to be, be a leader and be better than the next person. Like, um, don't follow the same path, mm -hmm. just be different. Also, he always told me to stay focused. Staying focused is big and key because right. it's so many distractions nowadays that can pull you in the wrong direction. So he's always telling me to stay focused. So you're definitely gonna need that advice going into Alabama. Congratulations on signing there, by the way. What are some of the goals you have set out for yourself at the collegiate level that you want to achieve? Um, become an all-around point guard and all-around player, and then also win the um, SEC championship mm -hmm. and lead the team to a 20-game 20, 20 um, record. So. And we've talked about a lot of basketball that you've been involved in, experienced in this interview. Basketball really is nonstop for you, but yet you maintain, you managed to maintain a 3.7 GPA, really putting emphasis on student athlete. 
when your head is not in the books and when you're not on the court, what do you do in your spare time? Um, actually just chilling, actually just uh, watching movies, just resting, because I know I'm gonna be on the go pretty much soon. Right. So I'm always just resting, just having fun. Speaking of on the go, this is spring break for you, but really it's just spring, not really yeah. much of a break for you because you do have the Nike Hoop Summit game coming up this Friday in Portland, Oregon. Are you excited about that? I'm very excited. I leave tomorrow morning. Oh, nice. So I'm very excited to get on there and get like some shots up right. or whatever, just before everybody else gets there. So. How are you preparing for this game? Um, actually, I'm preparing the same way I did McDonald's, like okay. take practice by practice. Um, play with the same energy I, I did um, out at McDonald's and then also just be a great teammate. Well Colin this has been very fun. I know your parents are very proud of you and I wish you the best of luck in Portland. I did want to send you off with some Skittles right. so you can continue that ritual going there. Appreciate it. And I just wish you the best of luck. This All is right. Autumn Johnson with Replay TV.